Airbus A320 Mentor Channel Podcast, Episode, What is a Dual FCU Failure? Welcome to the A320 Mentor Channel, the place where real-world operational insights meet the technical systems of the Airbus A320. Today's topic is one that catches the attention of every type-rated pilot. The dual FCU failure, what does it mean, how does it impact your flight, and most importantly, how does the aircraft's design keep you safe even in this rare scenario? Let's break it down in detail. Section 1. What is the FCU? The Flight Control Unit, FCU, sits at the top of the glare shield, and it plays a critical role in flight guidance. It's where pilots interface with the autopilot, AP, flight director, FD, auto thrust and select target altitude, heading, speed, and vertical modes. In short, the FCU is the pilot's primary tool for mode selection and controlling the aircraft's flight path via the Flight Management Guidance System, FMGS. Each A320 is equipped with two redundant FCU channels, FCU-1 and FCU-2, to provide backup in case one fails the unit is designed to ensure continuous operation even if one channel experiences a fault. Section 2. What is a dual FCU failure? A dual FCU failure refers to the extremely rare event where both FCU channels become inoperative or non-functional. When this happens, the pilot loses the ability to use the FCU to control or modify flight guidance modes you can no longer select a new altitude, heading, or speed using the glare shield knobs that includes both managed and selected modes. So what do you lose? Manual input of target speeds, altitudes, headings, vertical speeds. The visual guidance normally displayed on the FMA based on your FCU selections. Some autopilot or auto thrust functions may degrade depending on the context. In practice, the MCD remains functional, so the aircraft can still be flown using preloaded route data. But pilots must revert to raw data operations, handle the aircraft with greater manual involvement, and carefully coordinate via standard operating procedures. Section 3 Impact and Airbus Design Philosophy The Airbus A320 is designed with system redundancy and fail-safe principles. Here's what helps mitigate the risks. Both FCUs are powered independently. Failure of both is rare. The aircraft reverts to raw data with guidance from the basic modes like heading or vertical speed being unavailable, but the aircraft remains flyable. Pilots fall back on QRH procedures including DODAR and NITS for task sharing and situational management. Communication with ATC becomes essential for rerouting, approach vectors, or even declaring pan mayday depending on context. Airbus expects pilots to understand the consequences of such events and apply the fundamental principle fly, navigate, communicate, and manage. Simulator training often incorporates degraded mode scenarios like this to reinforce handling skills, ECOM discipline, and CRM. Wrap up. A dual FCU failure on the A320 sounds dramatic, but with procedural discipline, system knowledge, and the aircraft's resilient architecture, it is a manageable situation. That's why we train, that's why we brief, and that's why you're here on the A320 Mentor Channel. If you found this content valuable, help support the mission of knowledge and preparation. Click join on the main channel page. Access premium simulator content and tutorials for just $0.99 per month. Like, comment, and hit the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for flying with us until next time. Fly smart, fly safe, and keep learning.